Hi, this is Charlotte Reeves and you've joined me for another editing toolbox tutorial video. In these videos, we cover a tip, trick or technique to make your life easier when you're editing your pet photos. So when you're shooting in a busy location like I was on this day, it was a busy kind of seaside location. Often you'll have people walking around in the background or just things that you don't really have much control over that you need to get rid of. In this particular photo here, we had a person in a blue shirt over in the background here. So we could probably crop this out, but just in case we needed the edges of the image, I'm going to show you a technique to get rid of the blue without actually changing the pixels to a large extent and losing that very pretty little bit of bokeh there as well. So this is a job we're going to take into Photoshop. As you can see, I've already done a basic edit on this image just to make it a lot warmer and put some more detail into the shadows and bring down the highlights a little because it's a backlit shot. It was fairly high contrast to start with. So I'm going to take this into Photoshop so I can show you this super handy technique in there. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's have a little bit of a look over here and see what's going on. So we could use a selection or a patch tool and do a content aware fill and it might do an okay job. In some situations that's not going to work. So that's why I want to show you this particular technique. We're not actually going to be changing these pixels substantially. We're just going to be changing the color of them. So we're not going to be changing the structure in any way. So the first thing that we're going to do here is create a solid color layer. So over here in the layers palette, let's just click solid color. Now that's black. <laughs> As you can see, it's created a whole new layer there for us. I'm just going to click OK on the black and then I'm going to go to the mask that it comes with and then just press command or control I to invert that mask. So that is now masked off that color layer so we can't see the color anymore. Now we get to pick the color that we want to overlay onto this blue. So if we double click this little icon there, it comes up with a picker and we can use the little eyedropper tool here to pick a color that is pretty similar to sort of what's next to it. So probably a medium kind of brown. So we still can't see anything because that layer is still completely masked off. So now we're going to select the layer, choose the brush tool. So be on the keyboard. Make sure that the foreground color is white. You can press X on the keyboard to swap the colors or press D to make it the default white in the foreground. And then I'm just going to paint to reveal that color over the top of the blue. So as you can see, it's completely obliterated all the detail in that area. We don't want to do that. So we're going to choose a different blending mode for this layer. So let's go to color. There we go. So see how it's kept all the pixel detail, but it's just put the brown over the top. Now, the good thing about using a color layer with this is if we think that the color isn't working very well. So for example, here, I feel like it's a little bit too brown. We can double click this again and we can choose a slightly different color. So I'm thinking maybe like a yellower sort of greener color might work better here. So you can basically just click around until you get a color that works. I think that works. So that's a little bit of a darker brown. That works quite nicely. So that's pretty much it. We've changed that blue to brown without actually having to do anything content aware. Now there is a quicker way to do this, but it's not quite as flexible with changing the color afterwards. You can just create a new layer grab the brush tool, go to the foreground color, click on the picker. It'll bring the picker up, choose that same kind of color. Let's actually just change this color here down here because I think this is the skin color of the person's legs and I want to change it to more of this color. So I'm going to choose this color here, which is like a light kind of tannish color. And then I'm just going to paint directly onto that layer just here. And then again, just set the blending mode of that to color and see how it's done. Basically the exact same thing. It's got rid of that pinkish color and instead turned the pixels that more peachy kind of color. 
Now, the only problem with this is if we wanted to change that color, it's a little bit more involved. Whereas if we do it with a color layer, a color fill layer, we can actually just double click that and choose a new color if we don't like it. So that's, this is the quick fix way to do it. And this is the way that gives you a little bit more control in case you need to fiddle with it later on. Either way is fine. Just go with what works best for you. So that's it. Nice simple way to get rid of a distracting color in the background without actually playing around with the pixels and using content to wear. I hope this quick tip has been helpful for you and you can add this new tool to your editing toolbox. I'll catch you next time.